Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Sam, welcome back to the Air Power Club. Hope all of you are doing super well today. Just as we thought this stupid wireless charging mat was dead, just as we thought it was never gonna come out, it is, well, not it's not out yet. I don't wanna mislead you guys and tell you that it's out, but it is likely coming extremely soon as there's a new leaked image that has been hidden on Apple's website, probably for us to find, but it indicates that Air Power is pretty much imminently launching as so many other sources this week have reported. If you guys are excited for this video and for Air Power and possibly the new iPod Touch, drop a like down below. Always helps me out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. I sounded really angry there. I'm just pretty excited about the wireless charging mat that no one needs. All right, guys. So earlier today, somebody over on Twitter, this individual right here basically tweeted at a bunch of people and said, hey, I found that on Apple's website, there is reference or mention of Air Power on the site when Apple apparently scrubbed everything. It's on the Australian site. I believe it's on the India site for Apple and maybe a few other select countries as well. It isn't in the US, so if you try to do this now in the US, it will definitely not work. Then I just did research of my own. If you go on the uh, AirPods 2 website in Australia and go develop show page resources, there's literally this image sitting right here. Now, Apple may decide to take this down now that they know people found it. They may just leave it up if it's coming extremely soon. Maybe it's a teaser image just to get us all excited. We don't really know. But either way, this is Apple's first public, maybe accidental acknowledgement in the past like year and a half that AirPower is even a product on the table. When Apple released AirPods 2 yesterday, they didn't uh, include any references to AirPower. In fact, they actually removed the sole reference of AirPower on Apple.com. So it was nowhere to be found. And then this happened. So it looks like Apple's probably trying to trick us into thinking that it's not coming. They skipped today for product launches on Thursday, March 21st, but I have a feeling they're gonna come back with at least one or two tomorrow because now there's even more hype that they skipped a day. People are gonna think that they're done with their week and I think to get even more like hype around their products, they're just gonna release some stuff tomorrow. But I could be wrong. Maybe they don't release anything. Things can always change. So taking a look at this image, this is without question what Apple is going to be launching very soon. To me, it looks identical to what we have seen in the past for what Apple has always officially shown, but apparently internally, there's a lot different. Apple had a ton of production issues initially where the product would be overheating. It wasn't safe for consumers. They've now apparently figured everything out. It is going to be coming very soon as this being on their website the day after AirPods 2 came out suggests. And it's really cool to see like an iPhone XS right next to the new AirPods 2 inside of the wireless charging case. I know it's just a wireless charging mat, but if it still holds up to be true, if its initial promise is still here, that it can charge three devices at once and you can set these three devices anywhere on the mat in any particular order and it will charge all three simultaneously with some cool 3D animations on your screen to products like the iPhone, then that could actually be pretty cool. And it points out the fact that nobody's really changed wireless charging since it's come out. Of course, there's higher wattages now, you can charge at a faster rate, but as far as charging multiple devices at the same time, being able to place a device anywhere on a mat, we haven't seen that before. So I personally believe that AirPower is gonna be dropping this week again. It could change, Apple could not do it. They could totally just be done with product releases entirely and everybody's just speculating the rest. But a few sources have said, especially towards Apple Toolbox again, that these products are expected, especially the iPod Touch. Apple Toolbox heard this, Mac Rumors heard this, there may have been somebody else. The iPod Touch is also said to be getting the A12 chip inside of it, and that would make sense from Apple's standpoint because they put the A12 in the new iPad mini, they put it in the new iPad Air, they probably would have thrown it in AirPods and AirPower if they could have. Apple, I think, still has a really good core audience for the iPod, just from what I've seen in the comment section. I also know that there's a lot of people that don't understand its existence. I am a huge iPod Touch believer. I will be the very first person to buy the iPod Touch when it comes out, and fingers crossed that as people have been saying, as Apple will likely do, it's, it's gonna come out like tomorrow or sometime before or right after the March event. There's a couple of other products that I actually didn't talk about recently that Apple also released much more quietly, broadly outside of a press release, and that is new iPhone cases and Apple Watch bands. If you've been looking to refresh your collection, uh, rumors of this started spreading when other Apple Watch bands started going out of stock on Apple's site a couple weeks ago, and that was because Apple did and planned to refresh them. There are some pretty dope colors now. 
I've never been a huge fan of Apple's case offerings. I much prefer my Rhino Shield, not sponsored, but linked down below. Historically, this would be a keynote. These products, plus a new iPod Touch, plus the Air Power wireless charging mat. Apple's just sort of flipped it, but again, I think it's worked really well. There's been a lot of hype for their products. I'm hoping that they're skipping today to get our hopes down that there's nothing else coming and then they're just gonna clap back at 7.30 a.m. Central Time tomorrow and you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm gonna wake up again. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been pretty tired the past couple of days. It's been hard to even turn on the camera because I've been pretty sleepy because I've been going to bed at like two because I've been like, you know, catching up with friends on spring break. <laughs> but it's all worth it because we got AirPods too and I'd rather not treat myself properly than to not get AirPods too, you know? In all seriousness, um, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Thanks so much for watching my content lately. You guys are incredible. We got like 500 subscribers in one day the other day. So let's just keep that energy up, guys, all right? <laughs> Please, I need to feed my family. And by feed my family, I mean me. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.